بالبرهان هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فانشهد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين I will try to uh, clarify some misconceptions about the issue of moon sighting and maybe many brothers and sisters in the West have so many questions about the issue of moon sighting and how to uh, announce the beginning of the month of Ramadan and how to announce the end of month of Ramadan as well as uh, how to announce or when to announce uh, the day of sacrifice, the day of uh, Eid al-Adha as well as the day of Eid al-Fatr. And brothers, uh, I think there are many uh, misconceptions that have been going around since a long time, especially in the West, especially in the UK. And uh, because of these misconceptions and because of uh, many things are going on, I would like to clarify certain points about this important issue. And I hope I will clar clarify certain issues that have not been clarified by other people before. And uh, I will try to avoid what have been said by those who support any of the views. Rather, I would like to clarify issues that both parties have missed, and especially those people who uh, support the, uh, mo the calculation or those who always support the view that says uh, that we need to have our uh, moon sighting, our own moon sighting, which is, which is based on calculation. Uh, in the beginning, I'd like to clarify very important issues before getting into the details of this discussion. Two things, those people who are talking about these issues, uh, they are one of, two, uh, one of two people. One of them is a very sincere person, and he would like to have this issue of moon sighting and the announcement of Ramadan correctly. And he is worried about the fact that we may fast in the wrong day. This is the first person, and we don't uh, doubt their sincerity. The second person, among those who spoke, speak about this issue of moon sighting, he is, a, he is someone who has agenda behind it. And this agenda, let me speak clearly about it. The agenda being is that the only country, or maybe the very famous country that speak about moon sighting these days and support uh, visual moon sighting is Saudi Arabia. And they, those people who are talking about moon sighting from this angle, and they mention Saudi Arabia, they have agenda against Saudi Arabia and against the ideology of Saudi Arabia and against the Salafi uh, uh, ideology of Saudi Arabia, as well as so-called Wahhabi ideology of Saudi Arabia. And in order to attack this ideology, they start bringing this um, uh, this agenda of moon sighting and attacking the way Saudi Arabia look at this issue of moon sighting and therefore they can attack Saudi Arabia from other angles as well, which ultimately means attacking the Salafi ideology or what's so-called the Wahhabi ideology. So we have to be careful. So I plead to those brothers who want to speak about this issue of moon sighting and from uh, a sincere point of view and they don't share with those people this uh, agenda to be careful of this agenda and to be careful of the consequence of what they say because I think it is a dangerous issue. Now even in Saudi Arabia there is a lot of discussion about this issue of moon sighting and some of the people who are attacking this uh, so-called classical moon sighting, visual moon sighting, they are 
also attacking it from liberal point of view. They are supporting liberalism and secularism in Saudi Arabia, and they are not happy with uh, the uh, some uh, some religious uh, activities that take place in Saudi Arabia, and uh, they wish to see Saudi Arabia, Arabia as a complete secular com country. They want to attack uh, the judicial system in Saudi Arabia. They want to attack what is left in Saudi Arabia in terms of uh, Islamic activities and implementation of Islam. That's why they would like to bring this agenda forward. So we have to be careful. All the brothers and sisters talking about the issue, they have to be very careful about this agenda. This is something very important. So now let us get into the technicalities of this issue. The issue of moon chanting and announcement of the month of Ramadan. Uh, it is classically known that there are two methods to announce the month of Ramadan. The first method is the moon sighting. And the second method is completing Sha'ban 30 days, the completion of Sha'ban 30 days. And there are numerous adilla to prove these uh, two methods. The first method, the ahadith in al-Sahihayn, uh, an Ibn Umar, an Abi Huraira, etc. Sumu li ru'yati wa aftiru li ru'yatihi fa in gumma alaykum fa akmilu iddat shaban thalathina yawma. Fast when you see the moon, break your fast or stop, seize your fast when you see the new moon. And if you can't see the moon due to cloud or due to dust or other uh, each, uh, other factors, then complete the count of Sha'ban 30 days. The second criteria is the completion of Sha'ban uh, 30 days. Means if it is uh, difficult to uh, sight the moon, uh, then what do we do? Then we complete Sha'ban 30 days. Uh, this is the second criteria. Now, what do we consider calculation in general or astronomical science in general as a criteria to cite the moon or sorry as a criteria to start the month of Ramadan and to end the month of Ramadan this is a question and here we want to clarify an important issue regarding this calculation first of all from a fiqhi point of view Astronomical calculation and astronomical science, although Islam acknowledges that there is a science called astronomy and Islam doesn't say any negative thing about it if it's used in the right place. However, the issue of moon sighting is something totally different from the issue of astronomy and astronomical science. It is totally different. I would like to clarify this point and I would like people to understand this point. We are talking about two different domains. The first domain is the uh, natural moon sighting by the natural eye and the consequences of that. The other issue is the calculation of the moon sighting or calculation that help you to know whether the moon sighting is correct or not. These are totally different issues. The first, the first issue which is the moon sighting, the illa here, the effective cause in the issue of announcing the start of the month of Ramadan and announcing the end of Ramadan is totally different from the reality of the new month of Ramadan. And this may look strange for some people. We are not fasting according to the moon that represents Ramadan astronomically. We are fasting a month which may coincide with that actual month and may not. This is something that all the people have to understand and many people who are talking about the issue of moon sighting misunderstood and they are missing the point. 